and welcome along to Energy at Park. Another day of Leinster Skills Cup action. Today we have Newbridge against St. Gerrard's. With me today, Seamus Jennings and Harry McNulty. Lads, how are we all getting on? Seamus? Doing great. Thanks very much for having us. Looking forward to the match. Harry, these are big, big days for all the players and staff, aren't they? Yeah, it's a fantastic opportunity for a bunch of young lads either side of the ball to show what they're made of. They've been working so hard for this moment and we were talking briefly before how it's been two years of relatively nothing for these guys and um, it's such a special occasion to have family and friends and people that you look up to to come and watch you. So hopefully we get a brilliant performance today from both sides. Seamus, you've been teaching at the school 17 years, if I make it a bit of a stalwart. These are the days that, what's the atmosphere been like this week leading up to it for the pupils, the teachers and everyone? Uh, aside from aside from Christmas time and all that sort of thing, which is great excitement and exam time, of course, <laughs> you have to say that uh, uh, cup time is the best time of the school year. Every kid is all about it. Uh, you know, the girls have their hockey team, the lads support them 100%, but when it comes to the Senior Cup and for the Junior Cup, but Senior Cup in particular, everyone is behind the boys here. They've, As uh, Harry was saying there, they've played, they've trained so hard for the last six years. All they want to do is give it everything today. So the, all they're looking at is this match. Brilliant. We'll have a quick look at the teams there. Newbury College up front. Finn Mahan, Hooker, Mark Masterson, Rob Patrick Stapleton in the engine room. Max Barry, Shane Tracy, the back row of Kieran Kelly, Ronan McCrory, Sam Fitzgerald, the halfbacks Dermot Enright, Paddy Taylor, left wing Todd Lawler, centre partnership of Tom Waters and John Collins, right wing Kieran Managing, and a 15 Callum Bolton for St Gerrard's. Kieran Foley at full back. Ben Crow on the right wing and the centres Callan O'Reilly and Captain Shea O'Keefe left wing Harry O'Reilly number 10 orchestrating things is Rory O'Connell 9 Jordan Younger 8 Luke Long partnering him in the back row is Tim Wilkinson and Marcus Von Teesman. second row Podrick Harrington his dad's pretty famous I think Thomas McGovern beside him front row Fionn Denver Hooker Ronan Byrne and the other prop is John Butler Harry you won a cup yourself. What was that like? Uh, take us back. <laughs> Taking us back is right. 2011, I was fortunate enough to win the Munster Senior Schools Cup. So um, I actually lost it the year before in 2010. So it was just an incredible experience. It was the first time Rockwell had won it in 10 years. We were down in Musgrave Park and um, I was playing against the likes of Rory Scannell on that day. So obviously he's gotten on to do amazing things, but it's just a very special moment in, in my career. And, one day that I look back on, and um, I'm sure these lads now running out, they're going to feel the same way. And Seamus, here come your team now. Look at them come out here in front of that crowd. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're looking up. The kids are all looking down at them, and they're looking up. There's nothing. There's got to be goosebumps. Such excitement, and all they want to do now is spread their hearts out. That's it. Brilliant. Two sides here. Bit of history between them as well. Both had a league campaign, maybe didn't quite go their way, but there's plenty of good players out there. Yeah, great players on both sides. Uh, we probably have, St. George have the oldest pack that we've ever had on a team. Uh, most of them, all bar one, are sixth year, uh, sixth year boys. And uh, a young enough back, to, uh, back line with plenty of experience in centre, but the youth on the backs uh, and full back there with Kieran Foley and, uh, and the other boys, uh, ben, ben Crow on the wing as well. Harry, hopefully if the <laughs> looks like there's a bit of wind, so it might be yeah. off the jumper rugby, but hopefully we'll see a bit of backs and a bit of spread in the play. Look, the one good thing about Donnybrook, being an Astro, it means that it is a quick pitch. So there is that element of speed, and hopefully we can get the balls out to the wings and see what they can do. Uh, we have a little bit of a stand here, which might block a little bit of the wind, but as soon as the box kick goes up and goes above that stand, that ball can do anything. So it might play out to be a really interesting day. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's Newbridge and Paddy Taylor. Get us underway. Go straight into Gerrards. And they go Route 1 Rugby. Great carry there. Tim Wilkinson. Ball on a plate for Jordan Younger. And Younger goes deep to his opposite man, Dermot Enright. First real chance for Newbridge. To get in the outside, but their fullback kicks it over the top to his opposite man. And here's Foley. He's a dangerous man. And immediately we will come back. But that is a fast start, isn't it, Harry? A really fast start. We saw a good couple carries outside the 22, but some big collisions as well. And then the first kickoff, um, the first box kick, 
The nine handled it very, very well. We passed it wide and then, um, yeah, great counter attack as well. Love to see the little chip through. Um, unfortunately, just the foot and touch. So let's see how the first lineup goes. Pressure on the hooker with the win. Yeah, oh. Masterson. Commentators just, curse at its finest there. Sorry yeah. about that. It's going to be a difficult <laughs> afternoon for both hookers, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. A tricky one uh, with the wind. You'd always kind of suggest for the first one anyway, you go to the front, which they did in this situation, but just the wind just fought it that little bit further. Yeah, it's very easy up here commenting on that, but the wind down there is very strong, as Mark Masterson has just found out. So it'll be Jarrett with a scrum here. Good attacking platform. See what Jordan Younger and Rory O'Connell can do. See how this first scrum goes. Big set piece dominance. Either side will want to make. And Newbridge do get that squeeze. But it's there for Jarrods. And they're 10. And O'Connell takes it up and they win the penalty. Newbridge off their feet. That's a good, good start for St. Jarrods. Yeah, good start. Good, uh, good pressure. Was a little bit worried there, but they're just a little bit over enthusiastic. Come straight off their feet there. That's all. And they've gone for the shot at goal, so a long way out, but it's down win, Harry, so a good chance to get the first points of the match. Yeah, I might have to bite my tongue in this one after calling the hooker with the commentator's curse, so <laughs> let's see how the kick goes, but um, yeah, good setup with the, the scrum. Defence got up hard and they kind of cut off the option to go out the back, but um, yeah, just off their feet and gave away the penalty, so let's see how this first kick goes. Great opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, it'll be Jordan Younger. With the kicking duties for St. Gerrard's today, the scrum half. He was nailing these 20 minutes before kickoff. So let's hope for his sake he can repeat that. May need a bit of help from his forwards there. The clock's ticking. But the nine, straight back, straight through. But it's Missed just it. gone wide of the post. Unlucky, just rushed there. He went pretty quick, he came through it, but just wide of the post. Yeah, didn't have there the ball falling off the tee just before, and so he had to rush yeah. it. So we'll hope for the, a better one the next time round. I think you'll see the number eight coming in to hold the rest of the kicks for the rest of the game after that now. Very tough when you're under time pressure. Taylor once more into that strong win. That's a good restart. He'll be happy with that. Good territory gained. Yeah. Yet again, we're coming back to the line out. So let's see how we get on with these throws. It's going to be a test, I think, for the whole game. Could, could be an advantage point for a team, whoever can nail it. So really interesting to see how these guys get on during the day. Interesting there, number eight coming in to throw, as far as I can see. Look long. O'Connell pops it up. The scrum half has a couple of big forwards outside him. Gets it set. Younger just taking his time. Good first tackling from Newbridge. Ball has gone loose, but the referee, he's happy to play on. Younger once more, once again, just shows the conditions, but can they counteract? And the break is on for Newbridge. Todd Lawler there coming in off his wing. First real time Newbridge have had a bit of possession and they look to use their backs. And there's Taylor, has spots the gap. First real chance and away they go. He's flying up the wing, he's managing. That's great cover tackle by the scrum half. Newbridge still the ball, just need a bit of composure. And right in the red boots, digging it out there. Has his big second row in Shane Tracy. Next up, go in behind the forwards. And they have men outside centre. One more to the fullback. And there's the winger. And there's the first try of the match. And it's Todd Lawler. And that was well moved and well finished. Yeah, obviously a windy day. We were wondering if the ball was going to be able to get it wide. They got it right twice. 
Might have been a touch of a forward pass on the far side of the field. Might have to have a look at that again. But um, yeah, both teams, they're not scared to move the ball and shows here that uh, it's a day to score on the wings. Yeah, good to see Bolton and Lawler are combined there. And the winger stepped up, good dive and finished well in the corner. Yeah, suck them in well. Uh, the winger is well injured in the middle of the field, so that left plenty of space on the outside for a 2v1 against oh, yeah. Foley, and it was a good finish. Paddy Taylor now. The 10 initially started the move with the half break. Difficult kick from the corner. Good strike from the number 10. And that is some effort. Wow. What a kick that is from the fly half. From the touchline, probably no wind at his back, but that, that ball is going to come out and the wind's going to come from behind the stand. So that's not an easy kick to judge. So well done. Great kick. Yeah. Mm. Influential, Paddy Taylor and win the Junior Cup for his team in that final. Kicked a lot of points that day and he looks composed for a fifth year. Sonny Kyo coming on here for the injured Ben Crow. Sonny's. Yeah. Just getting a bit of treatment there. Probably not the start Jared's really wanted at the moment. Just need to settle themselves. Absolutely. Uh, Sonny would probably be a little bit faster than Ben, but uh, probably not as physical, but good, uh, a good substitution nonetheless. Disappointing there for Brian Crow, like not the you never want to see that. No, absolutely not. Especially like he's been dreaming at this moment the same as every other kid for the last few years. It's an awful pity. But a big opportunity, as you say, for Sonny Co. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a great pace. Uh down seat can be a really exciting player. So O'Connell hits it into the afternoon sky here, energy of park. Newbridge just happy to use their big men first up. Shane Tracy, he's been involved a lot early on. And right, again, not getting much change out of that wing. Younger, great line, can the prop get it away? Charge just won a bit of possession. And there is the line. Their big number eight. Long, nice carry from him. O'Connell uses outside center. And Callan O'Reilly. They switch the point of contact. But at the moment, Newbridge have them well marshaled. And there is a man in there at the breakdown. That smart play from Newbridge. Well done, good poaching. Newbridge coming hard off the line. Big physical tackles, but have to put it to St. Gerard's. They are fronting up with the big carries as well. Jeez, it's uh, very physical out there. I can uh, I can hear the hits from here. <laughs> do you reckon you'd last out there, Harry, do you? Hey? Do you reckon you'd last out there, uh, do no, you? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good turnover. Uh, was able to soak up the pressure there and um, made their tackles. Didn't uh, force too many people into the breakdown, just took the opportunity when it came, which is it's good to see. Great rugby from both sides. It's interesting there because the wind is so wet St. Gerard. They really want a big lead, actually, going into the second half, won't they? Absolutely. I mean, you've got to try and take advantage of whatever is out there, whatever help you can get. And uh, on a day like today, the wind, you want to be hitting those corners, hoping for the uh, open for, to get as much out of the ball as you can. Let's see. Masterson, oh, nightmare, straight, straight turnover. Well judged from Thomas McGovern there. Tom Wilkinson. But he stripped Turn in the over. tackle. Yeah, really well worked from Newbridge. But once again, blasted into touch. So difficult out there as we've mentioned, but maybe keep the ball in the hand is the right option. Yeah, so we've seen two turnovers from the line out now from Newbridge. Um, obviously very difficult with the win. And then the box, two box kicks as well, probably didn't get the purchase they want out of it either. So. Uh, we were just talking about how the wind is going to be a big difference in this first half. And uh, one coach always told me that wind usually gave you about a 10-point advantage. So let's see if that plays into the Jared's hands today. 
Again, it's scrappy, but Jared's have done well. Has that been a more and held up? They're still trying to get it, but we're going to come back for the knock on. As you can see, Jared's fans there on the far side walking that, <laughs> walking that billboard, giving their fans all the support they can get their players. Yeah, it's a, it's a great day for past pupils and everyone to come back, meet up. They probably haven't seen each other in the last couple of years, so yeah. this is probably the first day out in a long time for them, so I'm sure they'll make the most of it. So Jared's all their backs out this wide side. Nice opportunity and platform here with the scrum. Wind at the back. Hopefully they can come up with something nice here, get some good gain line, quick ball, and put Newbridge under a bit of pressure. Scrum going backwards, but Younger has it. O'Connell uses his 12 and the pop off. Nice short ball. O'Reilly, he's a hard man to put down, as Newbridge have just found out. Ball slowed at the breakdown. That's smart again from Newbridge. And have they got their hands on that? I think they have. That's two in quick succession. It's their big number six that time. Kieran Kelly. That's brilliant from the back row. Brilliant from the back row, but I gotta say the first carry from O'Reilly. He's had a couple of big ones already, and I think he's a player to watch out for, for this game. He's he's made a good good break there, good advantage line. I just think need to get the the rock a bit past the ball, clear out the player so that we can have quick ball. That's it, they're just coming up, just a little bit too high for the clear out the rooks, and then uh, it's easier for the Newbridge boys to get on that ball. Once they've got their hands on it, it's very hard to move them. Yeah, if Jason and Phil, what do you think they'll be thinking at the moment? You know, the first sort of 12 minutes of this game, how do you think they'll maybe change it, or do you think they'll be happy and just a bit more patience, and they will get the scores when they come? Yeah, I think um, I think for the first, uh, for the try, uh, I think when you have the winger down injured, the, it creates an obvious overlap, so they took a Newbridge, in fairness, took full advantage of that I think you, there's not much you can do apart from get to that uh, breakdown a little bit more clinical at the breakdown once we have that faster ball we see how we get out the backs Newbridge again doing well on their 22 getting a turnover so you know that when it matters most they're getting their their men like Kelly in over the ball and getting the turnovers but it's coming to these kicks where they're going to touch and they're going for line out and the wind isn't playing to their favor and, and they've lost two line outs so let's see if they can uh fix it maybe they'll come this side to the stands where there's no wind behind the back exactly yeah it'd be Harry is an outside back <laughs> what's, what's it like <laughs> you know? yeah I mean one thing being an outside back getting the ball passed out to you and another being a hooker and having to throw <laughs> with a crowd behind you and a wind howling down the back of your neck as well so um, as we can see here Newbridge have kicked towards the stand which might play into their favor take out that wind a little bit more and see if they can get a get a line yeah. out going So, hopefully it's third time lucky for Mark Masterson. There's a sea of blue behind him here, so let's see how he goes. Good opportunity for him to settle yeah. the nerves. Very good, better that time. Well done, the hooker. As they crash it up the middle. And right, has a wee dance himself and then gets it off. Jared's up pretty strong in defence. Out the back. Great and there's ball. a great, great ball. Great Paddy ball. Taylor, great left hand pass. And the kick through. Jared's just need to be careful. Well done. Good cleaning up there by St. Jared's. Knock on once more. Errors just not helping St. Gerrard's at the moment. Yeah, the errors just begin to add up and uh, just cost us a lot of ground. Probably a few nerves still out there. Yeah, and uh, like I mean, once they get settled down, all they, if they had perhaps, if they had got that first kick, just settle down the nerves, put a couple of points in the board. And as you say, the wind as well, it's probably in their head that they've got to take advantage of this wind and uh, with none on the board yet, it's probably just playing on their minds a bit. Yeah, definitely. I'm. Credit to, credit to Newbridge, they, they haven't had much ball, but they're not scared to throw a skip pass out to the wing, which is lovely to see. And Yeah, a smash um, and pass that. Smash yeah, and sensational pass. pass. And then Jared's they've, they've been doing really well holding on to the ball, just crashing up, but again, just those little bit of mistakes. Um, maybe it is the pressure from wanting to use the win, but we we'll see. have to see, they'll have to get the ball back now. Yeah, it's not 
what they were looking for off that set piece, but they do still have it. Be it 15 yards back. And right once more. Ronan McCorry in midfield. Paddy Taylor, the jump and the skip, but he takes it into contact. And right just telling his winger to get out of the way. Yeah, a bit of space on the outside here. But there, the penalty comes. The extra roll on the ground. Illegal. And a chance for Jairus to clear their lines and get back down into this new bridge half. I think we might see the same thing here. Maybe a kick down the, the stand side. Take the wind out of it and hopefully set up a platform here. Um, Newbridge probably trying to get up and contest. So good opportunity for both sides. Missed touch there for Jared's and away Newbridge go. High tackle. The tackle is high. 30 seconds, Jared's don't want to forget. Had a chance to find touch, just missed it there. And they're going to be on the back foot. Just a little bit of uh, over enthusiasm there from Sonny. He's just, that's probably his first touch. Just went after it a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Thought we were in for a really good kick. I think the wind might have just pushed it slightly. Came round, but Newbridge here now with an opportunity for a line out. Yeah, Newbridge winning this competition back in 1941 and 1970 and technically I suppose champions in 2020 never got to play that final so them and Clongo shared it 1941 there you go <laughs> back in the day and they'll be looking to get back up there again Masterson he's finding his arrows now and right great tackle yeah. really great tackle turnover Todd Lawler coming in off his wing but the Jarrods were there as you say Good defensive set over the ball and the penalty one. Yeah, great tackle by Lawler there. It's really difficult um, when players are coming around the corner at such speed to get up and just make a chop tackle. But once you get that chop tackle in, it leaves the rest of your defenders with an opportunity to get a turnover. And that was really superb play. That's really not an easy skill. It might look easy. That's he made it look easy, kick. but not an easy skill at all. That's a good kick given yeah. his last one. So just to be able to clear that from his head, he's only a fifth year. So it's, uh, it's good to see. As you say there, Jordan Younger, especially after missing touch, he could have easily gone for the safe option, but he planted an absolute torpedo down there, and there's a real chance, I'd say first of the match really, for St. Gerrard's to get get Absolutely. the momentum going. Absolutely, they're Let's gonna see. be hoping for something from this, definitely. Oh. As soon as we say that, what a steal. Max Barry. I, uh, I should have learned from Harry er uh, earlier there, not to say anything. Commentators cursing full swing today. Barry there leaped like a salmon, and he took that fair play to the second row. Look at this mall. A lot of teams wouldn't compete at the line out five meters out. So interesting tactic, but it's paid off. A lot of teams want to stay down, settled, so they're ready for the mall. Um, worked for them at this occasion. So well done. So Jared's probably 20 or so yards back from where they should be. But still, another chance for them and their number eight. Long. He's taking the hooker's role and chucking into the line out. Good to see, man of many talents. Yeah, he has played hooker uh, a good few times in the past. I'm pretty sure at uh, JCT level he may have been hooker, so he's used to throwing the darts. May not be going according to plan today, but. Oh, they still have it though. And they go the short side. Younger was trying to find a corner there with his right boot, but it was charged down. But we'll come back for the scrum. As we see a bit of sunshine. Let's hope that's good news. We can get another 50 minutes or so. No rain, no wind. But I'm <laughs> not sure that's going to happen. The wind's here to stay by all accounts. But it uh, seems like we've gotten a little bit nervy. A um, few mistakes coming in. No real fluidity in the last five minutes. So let's see if uh, both sides can kind of hold on to the ball and play some rugby. Younger. Short line. From his inside centre there. Goes again. But the door is firmly shut by Newbridge. Jairs need a scrum half. So their big prop acts as it. As Younger gets back up. O'Connell. Big fee on Denver. Pumping the legs. O'Connell back inside. To his captain O'Keefe. He's been everywhere. Offering himself up. 
Newbridge getting up quick, doing well, getting double tackles. That might be in the side, no. Still there, just about. But Big again. In the midfield. In behind the forward runner this time, looking to attack the space outside. O'Reilly looks dangerous when he gets those legs pumping. He's smart outside centre. Here's our number seven. He's a hard man to put down, Wilkinson. O'Connell again, orchestrating things. And they will have numbers. And here's Harrington. Just couldn't get that last pass. Or Newbridge were in trouble. First real sight of Patrick Harrington. His dad, Podrick, just watching in front of us. Of course, a famous man himself. Oh! Some really good rugby there, both sides of the ball. Big hits in the midfield, but O'Reilly again, as I mentioned earlier, with another big carry. Might yeah. want to try and get the ball in his hands a little bit more in that open space, and then we had the break here. Um, I think it might have been... Paddy Harrington. Pat Paddy that Harrington, part, yeah. yeah. Really lovely line, just unlucky, probably just got a hand pulled, pulled and uh, just didn't get the ball to hand. Just held it for that second too long, maybe, yeah. for the man outside and give it to the pace. And what about... Patrick Harrington and his dad just in front of us there. Uh, Is he ever into the school? Or ah, he never good stops. He always comes up, mostly for my classes, comes in for uh, just to learn something. <laughs> uh, and I don't blame him. <laughs> but uh, no, he is. He's brilliant. He uh, always makes himself available uh, just to, to give the lads a bit of support. Bit of there's a short line. Lawler with a great line Out the back door. Ball through. Still somehow is with Newbridge. Forward. Can they pick it up? Yes, they can. And the right winger. Mangan. Somehow has found himself Mangan in the corner. Not sure how that came about, but they pounced. And Newbridge get their second score of the afternoon. And who knows how, but it's been given. Was that, I, I thought myself was forward just there, but uh, perhaps not. Just, just a little Did bit. It all happened in a flash. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't absolutely. quite see it all. I wasn't yeah, sure yeah. what was going on. To be fair to Mangan there, he did well. A bit of composure, yeah. and he finished in the corner. Just shows how quickly things can change. Yeah. Jared's were straight up the pitch. Last pass didn't go to hand. Two minutes later, they're on their own sticks. Literally a 10 or a 14 point swing is the terminology around that. You know, you're about to look like you're going to score, and, you know, one mistake and the other team go the other end. So um, hopefully, Newbridge don't take that too hard and they come back for this kickoff and uh, get the ball back and have another go. Yeah, so both wingers for Newbridge with the tries. Bit of a winger's fest at the moment. And again, we see <laughs> the wind playing havoc. But brilliant rugby from both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really enjoying this match. That's exciting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite to be for the kicker on that occasion. And of course, you can see more matches on the videos in that stream throughout the week. First round action in the Lancer Skills Cup tomorrow and the next day I think it's literally coming down to uh, sort of unforced or small errors little knock-ons turnover here and there um, that's really the difference between two teams at the moment just being clinical just to be a little bit more clinical at the at the breakdown and then just in the just through the hands yep yep O'Connell with the restart good defence in the end I actually thought Newbridge we're going to go up that far side of the pitch, but it was well marshaled and well covered. Yeah, that's uh, Harry O'Reilly, his brother Max, on the Leinster Academy at the moment. So, yeah, it was a good little tackle there. Plenty of rugby in that family anyway. Absolutely. So, Gerrard needs something, and they need something quick. Just getting their final calls in before this line-out. John Butler over to his number eight, telling him where to throw it. Oh, wow. And they will have the free kick once again. I thought the new bridge line out snaffled that ball, but it was illegal, and we'll get a free kick. The interesting choice here. They're going to go for the scrum, I think, Harry. Good yeah. platform. 
I think a scrum is uh, probably the be best platform at the moment. Um, Newbridge are getting up really high at the front of the line out and it's not really to steal the ball per se, it's more to put pressure on the hooker. You've got to get the ball over a really tall second row and with that wind it's very, very difficult. So take the scrum. Yeah, I think we, uh, Jared's definitely need to look to get that 12, 13, 15, ju just get that ball through the hands there and see what can happen. We've seen Colin O'Reilly seems to be the dangerous runner. I've seen him a couple of times and I be, wouldn't be surprised if they used him again. Younger. Here's the 10. O'Connell. Maybe not the best option there. Cut back inside. Was crowded out. And they forced a the turnover and their hands are in there. I think that's three or four yeah. penalties from Newbridge at the breakdown. They've obviously worked on that all week. Yeah, Newbridge have done very well to get off the line all day, whether it's offset piece or whether it's an open play. Um, cutting back inside it. The hard part about that is that you're losing the last guy who's passed the ball to you might be a little bit slow to get into that ruck where the lads outside you're actually looking to get over the ruck so to carry outside you've got more support less chance of a turnover uh, but Newbridge credit to them they're getting over the ball and they're putting pressure there yeah both centers passed the man with the ball therefore they have to come all the way back around to clear out any ruck so yeah. uh, an easy steal there for Newbridge when you think about it it's yeah. good play good kick to touch there from Callum Bolton accomplished GAA footballer so a man of many talents there Kildare GAA under 20 panel. I'm sure he's dealt with wind like this many occasions. <laughs> I'm sure he'll <laughs> deal with it in the future as well. Sorry. <laughs> Better from Newbridge. They get it set. And look at the legs drive there. And the Penalty and advantage here. Is indeed, and they break clear. Is that their hooker? Masterson. Slight boy, but a hard man to put down. Enright and Taylor with the hands out. And there's the wraparound. Have one more. Here's the winger again. Lawler. A good cover tackling. Are they going to come back for a penalty? Yes, they are. The first time we've seen the nice wrap around. A bit of a Leinster move that from Taylor in his centres. Yeah, really nice. And um, if you see Mangan, he worked really, really hard to get around the corner. He's the right winger, but he came all the way over to the left side of the pitch. And he's adding extra numbers and putting the pressure on the defence. And Newbridge are doing really well to spread the ball. But good D put the winger into touch but um, Newbridge is starting to find a bit of flow in their line outs they've gone for a touch line again let's yeah, see how they go yeah the confidence is up in the line outs at the moment so they're happy to go to it uh, after the first couple I would have thought they'd try and keep uh, keep everything away but they've just regathered themselves and they're they're winning most of the line outs now so Masterson had a good one moment to go not that time yeah <laughs> Thank you, commentators yeah. curse yeah. commentators we'll curse will take that yeah. might just call it all the time from now on just <laughs> Give them every bit we can. Three accounts of yeah. commentators curse coming I, in already. I had to so. join. I had to join you, lads. Don't worry. Don't worry. For the sake of the lads on the pitch, you might be stay quiet until the the <laughs> play's over. Twelve points down, but their fans are certainly not giving up. Anyway, plenty of rugby left in this one. I'm not sure. It's a big here. day out for us. Up from Wicklow, big day out. Two right. Yeah. Feels like the wind is starting to swirl a little bit. It's coming from the left and the right, so interesting to see where they go. There's here the kick over, a different type of tactic from Shea O'Keefe. But it's Newbridge oh, on the counter, and that's a big tackle. Did that go forward? Referee once again says backwards. As Todd Laylor fights to the ground. But there is the penalty. Holding on. Huge Paul Drake Harrington once again in over the ball. Second row showing his work rate. Yeah, huge work from Wilkinson there. He came up on the chase. He made a great tackle. Put put Newbridge under pressure. He got the got the turnover. What a touch again. Jordan Younger. He really is going for every last inch down that touchline. Absolutely. Line. Couldn't have been closer. I thought Callum Bolton actually did extremely well to nearly keep that in. But touch judge said he had a foot and touch. We've been here before. Let's hope Jarrett's can capitalise for their sake. Yeah, let's hope they're just a little bit more clinical. Just get it down and work from there. That's it. Long does get it right. And that was superb. And look at this. Across the pitch, mind you. He's got the initial shunt forward. Then they've been repelled. Still there. 
in the blue jerseys. And there's O'Reilly. He's a hard man to put down. Four or five Newbridge bodies. Just needs to fight to get the ball back. And he does just that. There are plenty of numbers. One more. Gerrard's on the attack. In behind. And there is the score. And they're right back in it. Luke Long. Yeah, the number Luke. eight found himself in the wing and finished well. Yeah, Luke Long there with that. But great carry uh, from the second row, Tom McGovern. And then uh, just a good clear out, just in time. Fast hands out then. Lovely ball out the back. And uh, Luke there to finish. Yeah, O'Connell the long. Nice combination there. And well worked. The 10 to the number eight. And look at the crowd. They're buzzing. They're back in this game. We were talking about uh, errors just a moment ago. Literally... In the space of two minutes, we had Jared's inside their 22. Newbridge getting hard off the line, so they went chip over the top. Newbridge trying to attack. Wilkinson with a fantastic tackle. Then we get a turnover. Then there's a kick penalty down into the corner, five meters out. O'Reilly with a massive carry, who we were mentioning earlier, and then got the ball wide and scored in the corner. All came really from that little uh, just change of plan there from Shea O'Keefe to a little chip over the over the top in behind and uh, left uh, the winger coming across and quite isolated, so it was, it worked out for Jarrett's. Yeah. yeah, footballing background to Shea O'Keefe, the captain. So. Let's see what a scrum half can do from wide out in this touchline as well. coming in but not quite enough just sails wide of the post 12-5 big moment for Jared's there you know that'll build their confidence heading just maybe get one more before half time yeah that's the plan anyway uh, maybe even two more that's <laughs> that's definitely the plan so. uh, yeah Newbridge's defense has been really good all game they've been coming up really hard really solid making great tackles but when you do come up hard if the ball gets outside you that's when it's hard to defend so that's what we saw there it's double skip pass score in the corner so um from a jared's point of view that's probably what they're going to look at is try and move the ball a bit more but yeah newbridge coming off the line um they won't get beat through the middle so yeah you're gonna have to go around them yeah, we see a change there sam watson from newbridge coming onto the pitch really key part of the match now just very close to half time Creeping up, see who can hold on the ball, who can score next. Let's hope Composer. the Newbridge player down the far right hand side of the pitch is okay. As Sam Watson takes his place. Smashing That's kick. a big, big kick. But right was it carried back into the 22? I think it Ooh. was. I thought he was just inside the 22. Seamus, you're always going to say that. Yeah, of you? course. There it is. Look. <laughs> oh, maybe there. <laughs> uh, he's got those long legs. Probably the wind. Just blew him over. I'll let Joe away with that one, Seamus, but I think he was in it. <laughs> I think he was outside the 20. Up the just, just, it's the wind. It's the a wind. mirage up here. That's right. I love the passion. Can't take that out of you. Oh. So, back with Newbridge. They'll want to hit back. Masterson, a couple of dummy jumpers. And he does find Shane Tracy. And they're tight and compact. And they have the penalty advantage. But they'll want to make this work. And right to Ronan McGorry. He's offered himself up a number of times in this first half. It's Finn and Mahan. It's the first carrier this time. And Taylor just setting himself. And once again, they're looking for these wider channels. They think that's an area to attack. But Jared's are up. And is their full back in on ball? I think he was. But it's not right, it's not legal. It was actually well up there from Kieran Foley. But I think we're going to have a scrum here. Really tough position to put yourself in. Score a try and then kick off, get back to it, and then you kick it straight out in the full, and then you're under pressure straight away. And that's, lead, that's led to uh, two penalties, yeah. one from the mall, and then penalty advantage here, and yeah. kick to the corner. Yeah. yeah, I actually thought it was a scrum there, but it wasn't running away, said Foley. 
Kieran Foley wasn't running away, so a penalty, and now a good kick into the corner. And Newbridge, a chance to get their third score of the afternoon. And if they are to do it, might well be through the heavies in the front eight. Newbridge have got some purchase off their mall recently, so. Masterson gets the first part right. And they do change the point and wheel it round. Ball has found the ground though. And they pick the extra yards in tight. Plenty of bodies there. Their big prop, Stapleton, tells everyone to get out of the way. And then they go once more. Penalty advantage here. And right. Will he move it? Yes, he will. Taylor dancing, skipping. Is he going to go all the way? No, he's just short. Enright, round the corner, the big replacement. Sam Watson. But Gerrard's defending like their lives depend on it. And they do stop that first wave of attack. But we will come back for the penalty. All Newbridge at the moment, Harry. Yeah, you got to really dig deep here. You're five metres out. Not long to go in the half. This will really boost either side, depending on how the, the result goes, whether it goes over for a try, or whether Jairus can hold out Newbridge. Really interesting part of the game right now. Yeah, yeah last play here, so uh, Jairus just need to get that push on initially and then get straight up as quick as they can, just to give them nothing. So, and right. On his number eight shoulder, gets it back. There's a short line, the number 12, Tom Waters. There's the pick and go, and they are over. And the par gets a reward, and there's a replacement, Sam Watson. He's only on a number of minutes, but he makes his presence felt. And Newbridge will go into half time. A couple of tries to the good. Just Watson then right there was a. Uh Pretty last second pass, he probably held on to it, I thought, for a second too long, and then Enright did really well to zing a pass across to the 12. Tom Waters coming hard and set up the set up the ruck there for about a metre out, and then we got Watson over, so nice set piece. So Taylor to round off a pretty good half for Newbridge. And he does just that. So, an excellent half for Newbridge. As for St. Gerrard's, they'll want to fight back in this second half. Three tries to under Newbridge, 19 points to five at half time. Second half coming up shortly.
welcome back. Gerrard's down at the moment on the scoreline, but they're not down by their fans there. They're certainly the louder of the bunch, Seamus. Yeah, the fans still uh, never give up hope, so we uh, it's a mountain to climb, but look at they have it in them. Just have to bring the little bit more clinicality and uh, just a bit more a uh, little bit more belief try and get the backs going forward a bit more because uh, the forwards Newbridge forwards definitely putting pressure on the Jarrods forwards yep so it'll be Jarrods on their scrum off Younger who's been kicking all afternoon to get us underway in this second half Harry it'd be good to see a fight back wouldn't it yeah so obviously Newbridge scored with the win against them so that means Jarrods have an opportunity to do it as well just something interesting it looks like Sam Watson's come back onto the bench so maybe it might have just been a blood sub after scoring that try just before <laughs> half time. Not a bad man to bring on later in the game. Good strength there. Long. And Jarrett get the ball rolling in this second half. Denver. Nice hands and there's their number seven, Wilkinson. Down that short side. Gets the offload out the back door. Smart rugby. And he's back up and he wants more ball. He's inside his second row this time. Not the greatest pass. His partner, another second row, takes it. Well moved on the loop between the two centres. And here's a man, O'Reilly. He's on a mission. Just needs to be careful. That's great tackling from Newbridge. O'Reilly looked for the gap, but it was shut down. Yeah, again, Newbridge coming out. Um, really good defence in the midfield. But I just said before half time that Jared's got some purchase off going wide and we had one ball on the far side of the pitch, nice skip pass, made a 20 meter break and you can see that Jared's are starting to go a bit wider again so that might be something that they're trying to do the second half. Let's see how Newbridge can uh, change up their defense to compete with that. Seamus, what do you think would have been said from the coaching staff there for Jared? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the coaches staff would just tell them you know calm down we're still in this game we as soon as we get as long as we get that first score everything uh, everything can work from there um, definitely a better start much better start so we see there John Collins come from the pitch and Callum Corcoran I think it is that's just made his way in as Jared's competed that breakdown and look they're countering that is brilliant work from the tight five as the turnover comes and these are the wee small moments they'll want to win. And this guy has started well in this second half, Wilkinson. The knock on comes. So but they are the form. This scrum down just outside the 22. So uh, again, it'll depend on the pressure. That was the first real time, Harry, we saw Jared's really hit that breakdown and they forced the turnover. Yeah, backs against the wall, second half, you're down. You've got to do absolutely everything you can. Try and get the ball back at any opportunity. So. Looks like they're going to try and compete at the breakdown probably a bit more and they managed to get the ball back and now they're just outside the Newbridge 22. But they certainly don't need any more motivation. This is the SET. This is the one game. they got to give it everything. Yep. Younger to his fly half. In behind. Skip pass. Hits the ground but well picked up. Touch. Kick inside. Has, ball looks to have gone into touch there. Again, we're seeing the ball go wide. Where in the first half, Jared's are going up the middle. Trying to get around that D. Have the wingers coming up hard, trying to get a few extra meters. Getting over the winger. A um, little bit of a change in tactic. Yeah, it was just Sonny Keogh there. It was the right option, but he just yeah. found his foot in touch. Absolutely, yeah. Well done. Straight to the front, and Newbridge have it. This time it's their number seven, McCory. Good battle between these two sevens. Both played well. Masterson packs a punch, does the hooker. As they set up. Counter rock again. Yeah, they look to have set up that <laughs> caterpillar, but then the counter. Plenty of Jared's bodies come in. It's still, I think it is just there for Newbridge. Enright does finally get it in the air. O'Connell acting as a fullback there, the 10. Picks it up off his boot laces. 
Did Marcus Von Tesham. Good tackle and the knock on. But the penalty has come. Newbridge too eager and offside. At the moment, it's all St. Gerrard's. All St. Gerrard's have got the ball. Um, a really good box kick from Newbridge with a good chase. And then they had good D. They were just unfortunate to be offside. You can see a big tackle and uh, a knock on. But um, yeah, it's been it's been Gerrard's all the second half. They've really come out to play. Shame as if Gerrard's already got back in this game. What's the biggest thing you want to see? I mean, uh, it's just those little mistakes that they're making. Uh, I think at, at uh, the first ru uh, first ruck down, they, they commit their players to it, and then the second ruck down, they're a little bit slower to get to it. So uh, it just be a little bit more clinical. I think that um, I think we definitely could do with getting that ball out between the 12 13, that a little bit more. We're, get we're trying it now, you can see that, but uh, Newbridge are definitely up fast, good line, line speed and defense, so it'll be tricky. Younger in the strong gear win. Yeah. Whacks it into the stands and gives his forwards a platform. First half try score. Luke Long back on duty at the line out. Getting a bit of words of wisdom from John Butler. A dummy at the front, and then they do go to the front. But again. Is that not straight, is it, Harry? It looks like oh, I'm trying to figure throw. out the ref. Uh, dummy Cook, throw at the front. Was there a dummy throw? Yeah. Do you know what doesn't help there? It's hard to see it, but um, in the lineout, both teams kind of got compressed, so Jared's actually moved over to the right-hand side. And because he moved over, there was no space, so it was actually kind of straight if he stayed a bit more to his left and left the ball in the channel. So he's come across the ball himself to make it look not, not as straight as it probably was. <coughs> Just small details like that. Sean Fitzgibbon uses a scrum half. On the ball, sure. pressure on the ball. Wilkinson fighting in there, but this time he doesn't win it. Masterson doing a bit of crawling on the ground. There's the charge oh, down. Away goes the hooker. Yeah. Ronan Byrne. And the number eight, Long. He fancies a second try of the afternoon. But just spilled oh and away Newbridge come. These are big moments. And the step. Scintillating rugby here. Yeah. One end to the other. We're back with Gerrards. And Harry O'Reilly picking up the pieces. Younger. With Thomas McGovern. Another rip. Another turnover. Again, big rip. Ronan McCory coming out the far side with the ball. And Jared, another turnover. Yeah, they won't that. lie down as well. Turnover after turnover. Oh. Great to watch. Wonderful rugby. But I was sure, I really was sure that Luke Long had got Jared's back in this game. Absolutely. And if he had just held on, it, but the, you know, there are the breaks. That one, one or two other seconds, you uh, score a seven pointer from there, most likely, and then you have a, a real game on your hands. So. Talk about making up for a crooked throw, Ronan Byrne with the block down off the kick. Absolutely, and he's one of the shortest men in the pitch, in fairness yeah. to himself. It's great to see, but then, yeah, unfortunately, didn't get over the line. Turnover ball, ball spread wide, kick up the midfield, turnover, turnover, turnover. It's really great open rugby. And after a shaky start with the line out, Mark Masterson responded really well and had a very good 40 minutes or so, but sadly for him, we can see him limping off as Ollie Udell, the replacement Newbridge hooker, comes on. You know, I really would have liked to have seen Newbridge winger Lawler go for a bit of a run there. I know he's in his 22, but I think he's got a bit of wheels and could have had a bit of crack. There was actually a man inside him as well. Um, but yeah, tough in that moment. Yeah, you fancied a bit of sevens rugby there, Harry. Oh, didn't why you? not? Yeah, of course. But yeah, these are those opportunities. You don't get too many of them in the SCT to have a go. Obviously, you have to be smart about it. But I just thought he had a little bit of had a little bit of support with him, a little bit of space, and had the opportunity to maybe go for a run, see what he was made of. But um, look, kicked it up the midfield, and now time for a big defensive set from Newbridge. Big scrum from Jarrett's come. Yeah, so with Josh Wise there, he's just come on for number 10 uh, for Rory O'Connell. So, uh, 
Yeah, injured Ken coming back in, Josh Wise. So, big chance for him to see what he can do in the last 30 minutes. Absolutely, Josh is a, a great game. He can change a game very quickly. Um, and definitely, it's great to have him back on the team. Free kick given away here at the scrum, so let's see if we can get something again. Steady here and good set piece. Yep. Bit of a stack on the left side here from Jared's. Yeah, and then on the right we have the Danger Man O'Reilly. So let's see which way they go. Swing at the open side, and there's the short line. Their captain Shea O'Keefe. What a hard line. Injection of pace, oh. but then straight off their feet. Yes. One positive into a negative. Give away the penalty, and that must be so frustrating as a coach to watch that. Well, I was talking about it earlier, just trying to get the rhythm, the flow. There was an instance in the first period, about five minutes of just. A few errors, one after the other. It seems to kind of creep back into the game again here. Um, both sides are desperate to hold on to the ball and play some rugby, and that's what's leading to these turnovers. So I guess whoever's going to hold on to this ball is really going to have the advantage. Yeah, absolutely. But Jared's obviously needing that next try. That's that's what's all important for them, and uh, no doubt it's playing on all their minds. So everyone's that a little bit, uh, little bit hungrier. Leads to a couple more mistakes then where you're just a little bit of white line fever. Not that they're anywhere near it yet, but that's what's on their minds. And great to see Shea keep back up on his feet. I thought I thought for a minute you make the change at 10 and 12 and then for next phase later you're 12 gets injured. What a nightmare. Why, who'd ever be a coach? Absolutely. But he's back up and good to see him back yeah. up. Shea, great leader. Like he's a smasher. This, uh... Another change there. This time in the front row for Newbridge. Billy Bowen. Billy Bowen onto the pitch for Patrick Stapleton. So a couple of changes in that front row for Newbridge. They uh, want to inject their forward par. Now's the time to find a bit of rhythm. Get back into the flow of the game. Jared's have held onto the ball for most of this game, so Newbridge Probably want to hold on to a little bit longer. So, Udell, he's now got the challenge of the crowd and the wind. And fair play to him, first touch, and what a touch that is. Wins the line out, and now he gets the legs pumping. And his winger, he's now at scrum half. Gets the ball away, and there's the line break. Tom Waters. Huh. <laughs> As boots are flying everywhere. Finn Mahan. Good carry once more. Billy Bowen just onto the pitch. Trying to show what he's all about. A lot of pressure coming into the rock from, from the uh, Jared side. Looks like. Todd Lawler is coming in to scrum off at Newbridge, but he can't get the ball away because the work at the breakdown is exceptional from St. Gerrard's and a big turnover in their own 22 and a chance to clear their lines. Gerrard's uh, pressure at the breakdown has limited Newbridge's opportunities to start going wide and it's turning one-off runners and not great ball from nine. And it's really playing into the Gerrard's hands and they're getting the turnovers. It looked like there was definitely space out there for Newbridge uh, out wide. Possibly uh, the gap between the 10 and the uh, outside centre was uh, probably a bit wide for the pass on a windy day. That's uh, And it's been interesting. Newbridge have actually attacked off the nine, off every sort of set piece. They're looking for wingers dropping on, in and off, so they're trying, to, they're trying to attack up the middle or close to the set piece, but I think it's kind of turned the other way now, and they're looking. maybe they need to start looking to go a bit wider. Number, oh, we got the number eight thrown in. He's been going all game, has he? He has indeed, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Harry. He no. has indeed. <laughs> number eight and try score and nearly got a second. About five or so minutes. He's been exceptional. And that is a first class line out. Oh, the ball's too far in front of Shea O'Keefe. Just yeah. came it's out just of Jordan Younger's things. hands a wee bit too far forward and the number 12 just couldn't reach it. 
Not sure if we saw the Glasgow game the other day with the 13 thrown into the line out. <laughs> love, love it, a bit of variation. Yeah. yeah, as Seamus was saying, you can play anywhere this guy, Luke Long, can't he? Played a bit of hooker yeah, as well back in the hooker. day. Yeah, any place in the pack, he's got it all. <laughs> so it looks to be permanent now, Todd Lawler. Try score in the first half, is it scrum half? And you can see interesting move, Callum Bolton just behind the scrum. And he will get it eventually. That's a good tackle. Joshua Wise up very flat. But the linesman holding out the flag here. Might be a penalty. Not sure what though. Play on the moment for Newbridge. As Lawler picks it up and serves it to his second row. Barry. Taylor. Nice and flat. And here's another 12. Just like his opposite man, Shea O'Keefe. Tom Waters wants to get more and more involved in this game. But that time, after the initial fend, is marshalled into touch. But we'll come back for the penalty. And that's, I think, what the linesman had his flag up for, Harry. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure what the incident was for, but he put the flag up pretty quickly. And they're just going to have a word with each other. But just the play before that, we saw Newbridge getting a bit of space on the outside, and they managed to move the ball out there. And um, yes, they went to touch, but I think that's where they're really going to have to start targeting now because they've done the hard work playing up the middle for the first whole half. So that sucked in the Jared's defence, thinking they're going up the middle now. There's an opportunity to go wide. So Robbie Jenkinson just having a word yeah. with his official, making sure they get the right call and reset the game in the right way with that penalty to Newbridge. She's going to have a word with the captain. Usually not the greatest of signs. Shea O'Keefe, he really doesn't want to come off. Sure he doesn't. Absolutely not. Well, no, he's a, he's a leader. He's, a, he's the captain of the team. He doesn't want to... He wants to be out there right till the end, the same as all of them, no doubt. But, uh, you know, this is an opportunity for everyone to show what they've got. They're hoping for it. They're still... A good 18 minutes on the clock, so. Yeah. Jason so Emery, his coach, saying this week, he leads by example, he's a quiet boy, but boy, does he play and hit hard, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. He's one of those, it is everything by example. Doesn't uh, doesn't do anything that, uh, doesn't expect anything from anyone else that he won't do himself, so he's a good lad. It's a, it's a really good kick. Yeah, Callum kick. Bolton, there was a bit of banana kick and that wasn't outside of the boot. Yeah, it was really lovely. Yeah, that's always a tough kick when you're trying to get deep into a 22. You, you, you miss kick it and you go long the whole way out. So fair play to him for that one. Two? No. Udell now Seven. got his first line out right. Let's hope we don't curse him again. And we don't. That's two perfectly straight line outs and this black and white pack they're getting their mall going and there they come in the side St. Gerrard's yeah, and I they was have going the to say that's probably the advantage fourth or fifth. and the referee has had enough and there is the yellow card so referee Robbie Jenkinson wasn't standing for that anymore it had enough and Newbridge Gerrard's I should say will be down to 14 men yeah, I was going to say that was probably the fourth or fifth mall penalty that was given away by Jared. Yeah. So at some stage, they were going to have to look at the pocket. So Ronan Bourne will spend a bit of time on the sidelines and they have to watch on as his team have to defend here. Udell. But what a steal that is and what a time to do it. But the kick is loose and it's back with the new bridge. Winger comes scrum half. Lawler and he smashed back. It's Karen Kelly. Gets the grunt on the hard yards and wins his side of penalty. Big number five there. Patrick Harrington penalised. And this will be interesting. And they have to say, you know what, we need the points. They want to kill this game off. I think it's kind of the right move. It's pretty frantic. Obviously getting the kick in the corner, losing the line out, then the, 
the kick out didn't go as probably as far as the winger wanted. Thought Lawler had an opportunity maybe to spin the ball wide there on a counter-attack, but um, nice way to try and sell the nerves by putting this ball over and pushing it by three points. Yeah, and then it becomes a three-score game as opposed to the two-score, so. So, Paddy Taylor has a chance to extend the gap to 17 points. But you can tell by the reaction think, of the I Gerard think I keep Curry. my mouth shut on any... On That's your fault, Harry. It's definitely your fault. Commentator's on. curse is back at it again. That's my third time here. But Any chance you can say Gerrard's won't score now? You didn't need to tell... You need to tell you you missed it. You could hear by the Gerrard's crowd there. So it still stays 19-5. Bit of pressure on the number 10 there. And he's a man who likes to kick big goals. But I'm sure he'll be back. And that smart play from the replacement... Joshua Wise, but doesn't quite go to hand for Gerrards. That was a really nice drop kick. Across the pitch and uses his fly half, and he glides through the gap, and the offload is away. Adam Larkin Smithers. Still there. Sam Fitzgibbon in the grey hat. Bundling and borrowing. And there is the penalty. So at the moment, Gerrards, this is surely going to tire them out. It's defence after defence. Yeah, repeated efforts being defence. Ball being spun wide there. It's kind of hard to tell from this side of the pitch, but it looks like Gerrards are getting a little bit high in some of the tackles. Um, so that's leaving Newbridge to gain a bit of ground. And obviously there's a chance of giving away a penalty there. We just saw a penalty um, given away as well. So Gerrards want to try and compose themselves, get onto the ball and stop giving away these penalties. So Luke Long gone in there to Hooker with Rona Burn off, so. Yeah, as you say, eight against seven in this pack. Luke Long getting right in the middle, moving from number eight to Hooker. And he's got some defense to do as Lawler takes a few extra yards as they move it out the back. And here is the replacement, Larkin Smithers. Looks lively. As Lawler just goes close. He thought the gap was there. Newbridge, one more pick. Will that do it? No, it won't. But still there. Space out to the right-hand side they do here. Have space. But their big forwards won a carry. And they do just that. It's Kieran Kelly. He wasn't going to be stopped. The right stretch, the right arm, and in for the score. Yeah, well done to Kelly there, but I have to give credit to the sub who came on, Adam Smithers. He's had two really good carries since he came on. He actually had the carry down the left side of the wing just before the penalty um, that happened, and then he had that big carry up the midfield. So that's what you want from your subs coming on. You want them to have an impact, so well done there. Yeah, Sight mid match the uh, substitute 10 against the uh, the crashing forward there, so. So, much easier kick for Taylor. And this time he does convert. And we're into 26-5 game, 21 points. Three converted tries needed for St. Gerrard's as they go to the bench. Kieran Reardon, he will have 15 minutes or so to show what he's all about for Gerrard's. They'll need to score quick, Seamus. Yep, absolutely. Uh, it's still all part of the plan. All part of the plan. It's, uh, it's definitely next on the agenda there. So, Wise kicks it. Well picked up. And the winger, Lawler, who's now playing nine, is coming more and more into this game. There's another change at halfback. As Tom Bowen looking to be at standoff for Newbridge. But that just pass has gone, here. yeah, it's just gone forward there. Just so starting to see here, getting later into the game. Starting to open up a little bit more in defence. The ball's being moved around a bit more and um, yeah, good good play. Good play from Newbridge, but uh, forward pass. But that's starting where the fatigue's starting to come in and starting to force force passes and errors, errors coming from it. So Tom Bowen has come on for Tom Waters actually. So there's a bit of a reshuffle in that back line. 
So the two Bowen brothers are on now. Won a junior league back in 2019 to Tom Bowen. Now he's playing in the big time. I think he has slotted into 10. And Paddy Taylor has pushed out into the centre. So the versatility there from the fly half. And well away. The captain. Haven't seen too much of Keelan O'Reilly in this second half. But he's back with the ball. Here's his inside centre. Somehow he got that pass away. But Gerrard just need a bit of composure now. As Foley tries to bring that to them. And that is smart play from the fullback. Let ball go. Let the ball go and went again. But Farr is met with Farr there between the two forwards. As Wise looks for the gain line. Just about crosses it. Not rolling away for Newbridge. And there's the inside Lovely. ball. And that is Lovely. brilliant. And Shea O'Keefe is on the rampage. And he's still going. Brilliant work from the captain. Just needs the cavalry with him. And they're there through their back row. Lovely play. Foley still there with the ball. And the blue shirt spread it wide. Tim Wilkinson. Quick ball needed. Thomas McGovern was next up, but there's an injury there. Let's hope. Yeah, that's uh, Shea O'Keefe, the captain, yeah. down again. Smash and run. Yeah, let's hope Shea O'Keefe is all right. But he was the man with his scrum half that set this break all up. Lovely inside ball there. Yeah, Jordan Younger showing what he's all about. Just pulled it back. Lovely, wasn't it? Little Gregan ball almost. You know, that happens at later stages of the game. Defenses just think that the ball's going to be spread wide. Switch off around the rocks, and that's where you're going to get those little holes opening up. Seamus, there's plenty of fifth years in this team, yeah. which is great to see, even if it doesn't go quite go the way today, which it probably won't unless a miracle maybe happens. But going forward, the future in Jared's rugby is bright. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, everyone, every player, every boy that comes in uh, who's playing rugby, Every one of them wants to play on the SET. Uh, like I said earlier on, it's our oldest uh, pack that we've ever had out on the team. So, uh, But definitely we have two fourth years there, all out there giving it absolutely everything, and plenty of fifth years as well. All the subs on now, so Coon, Keen, uh, Jack, all these lads on. So Scott is after coming on there as well. So looking forward to it. And obviously Ronan Byrne back on from the uh, sin bin there. So. At the moment, though, big credit has to go to Johnny Murphy and his coaching staff at Newbridge. Of course, Murphy, Leicester, Munster, Ireland A, now coaching at Newbridge. And really, they've set out for a game plan today, Harry, and they've executed it very well. They've taken their chances. We saw in the first half, both wingers, you know, one of the tries come out of nowhere. But they had to finish it. They did. And points and cups are so vital. Extremely, extremely vital. They give you such great confidence, I think. Newbridge, just from the get-go, didn't have really too much of the ball, but it was their defence that was really brilliant, and they just were able to stick in there at vital points of the game. They were getting turnovers, and then when they did have their opportunities, they took them. They weren't afraid to spin the ball wide. Um, but look, Jared's are starting to play some really good rugby as well, and um, it was just unfortunate that their captain ended up getting injured after having a great break. I thought they were really building for a great set of phases there and might have actually scored. Marcus Van Tijkman's after coming off there. Yep. Number six had a good game, worked hard. So we restart. See if they good get the attacking balls. position. Yep. Long back to number eight. And there's Younger. Away he goes this time. He takes the contact himself. Wilkinson just securing that ball. Has reared. Injects a bit of pace, but the penalty does come. I'm just trying to keep the tempo up. Or Gerrard scrum once more. Can actually hear the uh, coaching staff here on the sideline screaming, "Go! Take a quick tap! Looking to move and keep the tempo." 
Yeah, time's not our friend at the moment, so needed that uh, fastball. Yeah, you're right. 12 or so minutes left. Three converted tries needed. Sonny Keo, he's just standing outside Joshua Wise. So maybe it's his chance to come in here and shine. I'd really like to see the ball get into Callan O'Reilly's hands again. He's had some really good carries. Get over the gain line here. And here he is. But he's well marshaled. Good tackle by Paddy Taylor. But there is Long. He's not going to be stopped. He's still going. He wants a second score. Is he there? He does well. Doesn't force the second movement. And here's his prop forward. And Let's number three, Denver. Theon Denver. He was right on his shoulder. Smart play from the number eight. And the number three, Denver, did the rest. And there's the drop goal from Joshua Wise. And Gerard still believe, but it all came from the carry of the number eight. Yeah, so great carry. And then Fionnan has that strength to just carry it over. Uh, got on the, the weaker shoulder of the of the defence. Good, good carry. And then it was Jordan that uh, dropped that, just uh, took the points. Hubert now playing clever, slowing it down a bit just because the momentum is with Jared, so. Yeah. yeah, beg your pardon there, Jordan Younger converted the two points. Drop goal, quick thinking. So, a minute to go. It was back to three converted tries. Now two would win it. You just never know, Harry. You never, ever know. That's the great thing about Senior Cup Rugby. You never know. It's Bowen. Smash it downfield. <laughs> Who else? But look, Yacht Long. And now Jared's trying to play it out the back. But there is a bit of a spillage. And Sonny Keogh does his best. But he's just into traffic. Ooh. And they just need to settle themselves, Jared's. Just maybe trying to play too much. I know they need to go the distance a couple of times. But just don't want to force it as well. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, they're actually, if they can keep that ball in hand, don't panic, don't kick it away too lightly. And uh, play from, they have a couple of lads who can do that. They can run the length of the pitch. They just have to get it out to them. Younger. And there's a something different with a kick over the top. You don't often see that. Not sure it's the greatest play by the Newbridge fullback. Still there for Gerrards. And that was all helter skelter. In the end, Scott Dalton, I think it was, found himself in touch. It was probably the right option for the first kick, but I'm not sure about the Newbridge fullback there. Jeez, yeah, what a, a pick up. What a pick from his feet. That's a TY transition year student. Uh, unbelievable. Have that, that confidence. That was mental a bit. There was a lot going on there, but yeah, what an amazing pickup. Unlucky slipping on the touchline. I just feel for him. Oh, I thought we were going to see a bit of magic coming from the Jared side there. That could have gone the whole way easy. Yeah, and that's a, that was his first touch of the ball as well. So you know all he had in his head is, I've got this, I have got this, and it's just one slip. Good to see there, Joshua Wise there, do, trying something different. Yep. Lawler. Oh. But the knock on has come. Sam Watson, the try score for Newbridge before half time. But that time, just not a moment he will want to remember. Just slipped out of his grasp. This is where it's very important. Jared's are trying to speed the game up. Newbridge are trying to slow the game down, but they're the ones starting to give away a couple of the errors, which isn't allowing to their game plan. One score. You're under the pump then. And you might be ahead, but you're still under the pump. So let's see what they've got at their sleeves here, Jared's. Yeah, they have an extra back out here on the far side, in the front line anyway, so it'll be interesting if Wise dictate things. But they do. Just go route one. Head down, rugby. Ball is still there for Gerrards. Big second row, getting into first receiver. And here is the danger man, O'Reilly. Two centres. It works so well for Jared. Wilkinson doesn't quite get the ball because there was a bit of offside there work from Newbridge. So moments are turning yeah. Gerrards' way. I know the scoreline isn't 
on their hands at the moment, but geez, if they can get another score, as you say, you just never know. Time's taken away while they make these decisions. They need to just get it out, take the, take the line out quick as they can. Yeah. Got the fine touch, and he does just that. That's a great kick, Joshua Wise. He's looked good since coming on. He's picked up the tempo. Yeah, absolutely. Just brings uh, something a little bit different. Just, uh, just a, little, a few different decisions. Those little chips over the top, just to give a, a bit of where our t where our threats are. The 12-13 can run onto. Referee just wants to get it right. So the headmaster's son, Cain Gerdy. His line out just slips through the glass with Gerard. Big day for him and his dad. Oh, absolutely. And Another TY transition year student. And even, uh, though big the, day. and even though the line out didn't work, they, they won the penalty there. So, But a big day for Cain, isn't it? Absolutely. Like That'll be a proud man. Year, absolutely. And uh, like his dad himself, a Newbridge man. Uh, not that he'd ever admit it, he's, uh, he's Jarrett's now through and through. Jack Holland on there for Jordan Younger. Very impressed by Jordan Younger today. Did everything pretty damn well, so he did. Kicked well, tried to marshal the troops, both forwards and back, so he was a bit of a good interlinking play, and especially that last 15 minutes with Joshua Wise pair of them good combination later on but now it's a chance for Jack Holland here we go there's O'Reilly the ball's just gone forward no it hasn't referee says fine play on so a bit of luck there for Gerrard Thomas McGovern he hasn't stopped Do they have a bit of extra space out in the wider channels? There's a stray boot in the middle of the pitch. Long this time, uses back row partner. Great feet. He's dancing, is Wilkinson. Back to the heavies in the engine room. Just be able to be careful. <laughs> bit of sevens rugby here. As long as eventually tackled. Holland trying everything to get the ball away. But there's the counter. And that may well be the game. That was their chance, Gerrards. They just didn't quite have the direction. And in the end, the counter and the rock and the new bridge. Just players come straight through. I think that was Sam Watson. Fair play to him. And they win the turnover. Yeah, yeah. really interesting couple of minutes, I think. Um, we had Gerrards when they took the penalty to the corner. Just before that, the, the nine actually played the ball off the lad on the floor and they had really good momentum. And I, I was actually surprised that he did that. I thought he would have wanted to play. Maybe he would have got the uh, penalty advantage and they would have kept the momentum on. But then when they kicked the corner, kind of slowed things down. Might have let Newbridge in a little bit more to get settled, to have a breath. But uh, Newbridge worked really, really, really hard there and uh, hard work paid off and they got the ball back. Another sub here. Guy Carson for Gerrards. We'll get a couple of minutes in this first round of the cup. Luke Long coming off there for Guy. Moodell. Go to the front or back. They'll try and go to the middle, but it doesn't work for him. As John Butler picks up the scraps. Fionn Denver got his try. And now he's helping his team. And here we go. We carry once more. Big tackle. Reardon in the green boots. But he can't fight hard enough. And again, you've got to credit the new bridge breakdown and their work there. I think that maybe has been the winning of this game. Absolutely. Yeah. They've, they've got to it first. They're strong over the ball. And just a little bit, uh, Jared's just not clinical enough at the break time. Just not securing that ball. Newbridge popping up at crucial moments with turnovers. Not, per not to say that they've had more. They've just had them at the right time. And right there, they were under a bit of pressure after losing the line out with a great steal. 
from Jarrods, but yeah, just came back to get the turnover. Oh. So, Scott Dalton, away he goes. And here is Wilkinson. Oh, it's like a steam rips. train is the number seven, but the ball's stripped. And here's a big second row. He's dancing and he's going, Tracy. Wow. Can he go all the way? No, he uses his fly half. And he might be the man to finish it fully off for Newbridge. He's just stopped short. And here is another second row, Shane Tracy. And that is that. Turning defence into attack, Absolutely. clinical and brilliant finishing. And the second row is the man to round off an impressive performance for Newbridge. Yeah, it's exciting to watch, no doubt about that. But uh, sad way for the uh, the lads, the Jersey lads, uh, to end it off. But like brilliant play from Newbridge. You gotta never give up. It's great play. I think Tracy had a an offload in the middle of the field there with a mini break out the back to the ten. Paddy Taylor who had a good carry and then he got back off the up onto his feet and then got over for the try. So fair play to Tracy with the hard work. Yeah, brilliant work rate from the <laughs> second row, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought he was going to go all the way the first time, and then he used his fly half, and the fly half started to bounce <laughs> a few defenders. Quick ball, back to the second row, Jeez. and in for the score. Really great game of rugby. So, Newbridge looking for the cherry on the top with the conversion. Not quite, but that's going to be that. Newbridge too good in the end. Seamus, a disappointing day for Gerrards. Be a hard week to take, you know, for you guys. You obviously wanted to go through, just come up short today. Absolutely, yeah. But, I mean, the best team won today. Absolutely full credit to Newbridge. Uh, came, short, came up short today, but this is a day that the, these lads will never forget. It's a, it's a day that's just etched into their memories, and there's no doubt about it that it's something that they'll be able to tell you know, their kids, etc. in the future, it's, it's huge, it's huge. And uh, they'd be delighted just to have been there to take part. That's what it was all about. And Harry, Newbridge going to the next round. Were you impressed by them today? Do you think they can really challenge at the top table this year? Yeah, I think Newbridge did really well. I was impressed with their defensive effort, especially up in the midfield. There wasn't really any breaks, to be honest, through the midfield. Um, they just got a little stretched around the outside. But if someone's going to score, let them score on the outside. I just think in the closing minutes of the game, probably the last 10, fatigue started to settle in and there was a few errors and it got a little sloppy and there was missed tackles so if Newbridge really want to push on they need to be able to front up in that defensive effort for the whole game um, and then I think that'll really help them and then once they get their hands on the ball they're well able to take their opportunities. Well Harry and Seamus it's been a pleasure thanks for joining me and it'll be Johnny Murphy's Newbridge that booked their place in the next round in the quarter final of the Lancer Schools Cup there's plenty more rugby coming tomorrow Ross Cram Wesley College and you can see the list of fixtures on videos on the net but it's finished here at Energy Park it's Newbridge that go through 31 points to 12 against St Gerrard's thanks for joining us